a circle x square plus y square is equal to 8 and a parabola y square is equal to 2x are given find the area bounded by these two curves in the first quadrant which lie inside the circle and outside the parabola so here the circle with the center or is in 0 comma 0 and the radius is 2 root 2 because 2 root 2 whole square is 8 and the parabola here whose vertex is origin and the focus point is 1 comma 0 sorry 1 by 2 comma 0 so we can get the diagram circle with a center origin and 2 root 2 unit radius and the parabola with focus the point we can say it's a parabola y square is equal to 2x and the circle equation here x square plus y square is equal to 8 now let us find the point of intersection of these both say this point p solving the both equations x square plus y square is 2x is equal to 8 we get x square plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 or we can write x square plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 or x times of x plus 4 minus 2 times of x minus 4 is equal to 0 so we can write x plus 4 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 so you're getting x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 2 since we required the first quadrant curves area so let us consider x is equal to 2 here So here the point x coordinate is 2 when x is equal to 2 so we can substitute y square is equal to 2 into 2 that is 4 so y is equal to 2 so 2 comma 2 is the point and the region and the shaded region we can consider here because which is inside the circle and outside the parabola so we can consider from origin 0 to point 2 it's upper curve that is y is equal to under root of 8 minus x square and the lower curve is y is equal to so we can say y is equal to root 2 into root x so that we can give the area by using integrals required area is equal to integral from 0 to 2 upper curve is root of 8 minus x square minus and the lower curve is root 2 into root x dx so which is equal to integral 0 to 2 under root of 8 minus x square dx minus integral 0 to 2 or root 2 can be taken outside root of x that is x to the power 1 by 2 dx and we know that integral root of a square minus x square is equal dx is equal to x upon 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square upon 2 sin inverse of x upon a plus c so let us use this formula here we can write x upon 2 under root of a square minus x square that is 8 minus x square plus a square upon 2 
that is 8 upon 2 sin inverse of x upon a here a is equal to 2 root 2 so we can write here 2 root 2 whole square minus x square so a is equal to 2 root 2 and again minus root 2 times of x to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 and applying the limits 0 to 2 which is equal to first upper limit 2 upon 2 root of 8 minus 2 square is 4 plus 8 upon 2 that is 4 times of or 4 into 1 4 times sin inverse of x value is 2 so sin inverse of 1 by root 2 minus 2 root 2 divided by 3 into x to the power of that is 2 to the power of 3 by 2 so this is upper limit minus the lower limit is 0 into root of 8 minus x square that is 0 plus sin inverse of 0 is 0 minus root 2 of x power 0 mean that is 0 so the lower part is 0 so simplifying here 8 minus 4 is 4 that is 2 plus 4 into sin inverse of 1 by root is pi by 4 because sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 minus <coughs> Here 2 to the power of 1 by 2, 2 to the power of 3 by 2, that is root 2 to the power 1 by 2 into 2 to the power of 3 by 2 into 2 is nothing but 2 to the power of 4 by 2, that is 2 square, that is 8. So we can write minus 8 by 3. On simplifying, pi plus 2 minus 8 by 3 is 6 minus 2, 6 minus 8, that is minus 2 by 3. So pi minus 2 by 3, so which is option A.